Okay, in this question, uh, we're asked to evaluate the integral uh, from 0 to 2 of 27 dx over the um, 3x plus 2 cubed. Now, notice that this is a definite integral because we do have limits of integration. So we're asked to evaluate this definite integral. Now, you'll see that this consists of a quotient 27 dx over 3x plus 2 cubed. So what we do here is we look to see, well, is there some way that we can uh, work with this so that we can get it into a form that we can actually integrate. At this point in time, we can't integrate it straight out because uh, it is a quotient, which is a complicated function. However, what we do notice is if I look at this function, which is cubed here, if I was to look at the derivative of this inside function, it would produce a constant. Notice I have a constant up here. So this allows me to uh, think about using a dummy variable such as u is equal to 3x plus 2. Now this would mean that when I find the derivative in differential form, form I would get 3 dx. Now notice this is starting to look very much like the 27 dx because that will imply that if I multiply both sides of this by 9 I'd have 9 du would be equal to 27 dx so straight away I have this part here of the of the derivative and I'd be using u as uh, this uh, function 3x plus 2 cubed so it would be u cubed now we can't just go write go and write the integral um, as is with the t 0 and the 2 because the 0 and 2 are in terms of x so I need to find out what their corresponding values would be in terms of u so the first thing I do is I say well what if x is equal to 0 this is the lower terminal here um, then this would mean that u would be equal to if I put 0 in here for x I'd have 3 times 0 which is 0 plus 2 would be 2 and when x is equal to 2 I'd have u is equal to 3 2 to 6 plus 2 is 8. And so consequently my uh, integral becomes the integral now instead of from 0 to, eight, uh, 0 to 2 it would become from 2 to 8. Okay. And I would have instead of uh, 27 dx I would have 9 du. And this would now be divided by 3x plus 2 cubed, but 3x plus 2 is u, so I'd have u cubed. And so this would become, if I simplify this out, I'd pull the 9 out, and uh, my terminals are here, and I change this to a negative exponent, then this is now my integral that I have to find. We can now apply the uh, power rule for integration to this and I'd end up with 9. Now remember the uh, power rule says that I would add 1 to the exponent so negative 3 plus 1 would give me negative 2 and then I must divide by the negative 2. And then I'm going to evaluate this between 2 and 8. We're now employing the... Uh, well let me simplify it first. So we'll end up with this being uh, negative 1 on 2u squared between 2 and 8. Alright, now we employ the fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, the fundamental theorem of calculus says that this will become 9 by negative 1 over 2 by 8 squared so we put the top one in subtract and I'll have to use parentheses here negative 1 over 2 by 2 squared okay this is the fundamental theorem of calculus so the 2 goes in here and the 8 goes in here okay and now we go ahead and reevaluate this. So this will be negative now 8 squared is 64, so 264 is 1 on, uh, so I get negative 1 on 128. Minus by minus is a plus, and I have 1 over 2 squared is 4, 2 is 8. So this becomes, as I simplify this down, 9 over uh, by 1 over uh, negative 1 by 128. 
If I multiply top and bottom here by 16, I'd end up with 128. And when I simplify this down, I get 9 by 15 on 128, which I believe will simplify. If I do by that, will be 3, and this will be 5. 3 fives are 15 over 128. And there is the uh, value of this definite integral.